What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and today I'm going to show you how you can use your Windows Spotlight images from your lock screen and put them on the desktop and I'm going to show you the easiest process of doing that right now. Okay, so to get started you want to make sure you're on the desktop and you want to hold the Windows key and R which is then going to bring up the run command. Now you're going to copy and paste this directory here into your run command and you're going to click OK. Now you're going to see all these files here and these are actually your spotlight images uh, but actually we don't know that yet because they're not jpeg files which we're going to convert them into them later using a batch command so what we want to do is click the uh, control and a to highlight everything and we're going to right click and it's going to come up with a box here saying that they might be harmful to the computer which they're not going to be because they're microsoft files so we're going to click ok i'm going to click copy now we want to go to our pictures, we're going to right click new and folder and we're going to call this spotlight, there we go and we're going to open the folder and we are going to paste all them files into that folder. Now you can either right click on it and convert them into jpegs manually or we're going to use a batch file which we're going to do right now. So we're going to go back and we're going to hold shift and right click on the folder I'm going to click open command window here. Now it's going to open this uh, command prompt here. So we're going to copy this command into there. So we're going to click copy and we're going to right click when we're in it and press enter. Now what's that going to do is convert all of these files into JPEG files. So when we go into the folder, you will see that actually you've got all of the spotlight for, uh, images inside here now. So you can go through them all and delete what you don't like, so look, for example these Xbox game files, uh, free movies etc. But we're going to choose something that's actually nice, so this is the one I've currently got on now as a spotlight. So we're going to right click it and set as desktop background and now I've got this Windows spotlight image as my desktop background. So if that did help please leave a like and if you have any comments or questions just leave them below and I'll soon to reply to them as quick as I can. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.